Hello everybody, my name is Felicia. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not, what's up y'all? Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Black Monday Murders by Jonathan Hickman and illustrated by Tom Coker. This is a murder mystery plot that centers around an occult that worships the god Mammon. Mammon is the god of greed. The story also follows Detective Dumas, who is investigating the murder of one of these occult members named Daniel Rothschild. As the plot develops, you are taken inside of this occult and you see how they function. You see their hierarchy. The occult members in this book are the elite. They are the 1%. They are the people that own banks. They are the people that print money. These are the trillionaires, the multi-billionaires. In this book, you'll see that blood is the occult version of money. They do blood sacrifices to the god Mammon, and in return, Mammon blesses them with long life, wealth, dominion, and power. There is magical realism in here. The occult uses a form of alchemy to do their magic, and Dumas actually has a background story dealing in voodoo. The world building is pretty straightforward. I mean, it's not hard to comprehend. I struggled with memorizing what character was in what hierarchy position inside the occult. And then the positions in the hierarchy passed down through generation through generation in a family. So most, so they all had the same last name. So I'm like, wait, which one of times is that? Which one is that? So I did have to flip back into the book to better understand who was who. Characters. This book had some really good characters. One of my favorite characters was Detective Dumas. He has this sketchy past, but he's very intelligent and very strategic. Throughout the plot, you actually see him get closer and closer to, to the occult and he's not backing down no matter what threats they throw at him. He's like, I got this. I, I know what I want to do. So he is super committed to solving this case. My next favorite character is Rhea, who is the sister of Daniel Rothschild, the deceased. There's something very special about her. I I like her ambition. And Rhea has a awesome background story since her family comes from generations and generations and generations of being inside this cult. So it's interesting to have a point of view of a member that grew up inside of this occult. The plot is wonderful. It is slow. This is a very slow building story. The plot is slow, but it's real intricate and subtle. There are parts in here that will just excite you, especially if you like blood sacrifices, cannibalism, and people bashing their heads in. They're gonna love it. Like I do. <laughs> there is a lot of clever play on words. Everything is very subtle. There are no big revelations throughout this story. There aren't any over exaggerated climaxes in this story, especially with the characters because every character in here has power. These are the alphas of the alphas in this story. So you're seeing the best of the best just go at it and everything is just clever. This book had a lot of realistic qualities to it. It's amazing. There are a few things that I loved about this story and one is the illustration. It is amazing. Next, I like the format of this book. It reads like a regular graphic novel, but it also has like emails in there, police files, internet article, just a lot of things that give it a more realistic quality like this could be happening in our real world. Something that really stood out to me is that these elites, they have magic schools, right? And when you think of magic school, you think of something like Hogwarts. But no, it's a financial institute. Money making the world go round. What accent was that? Yeah, we got some strong themes in this one. I marked this book up. If you're into politics and like government conspiracies, then you're gonna like this a lot. Overall, I gave this book five out of five stars and I highly recommend horror fans and other people that like government cons conspiracies too. <laughs> and that is it for today. If you're interested in reading, let me know if you already read it. Talk to me about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cause bye. Bye.